hi guys very good morning to you uh, so in this video uh, today I'm going to actually talk about how to sort the data in the ascending order or the descending order without using the you know the sorting option which we have in this Excel uh, you might be knowing this uh, that's the sort option it's a very common option every every person who know who knows the basic Excel uh, you know he or she is quite familiar with these options like sort and filter but in this video uh, I'm going to educate you I'm going to uh, talk about that what if you don't want to actually use this option right because this is a something where we need to click and then you know we can sort the option but what if you have a data uh, every time you know you have a new data and you don't want to use this step again and again right so we're going to learn today how to sort the data in the ascending order and uh, then of course how to sort the data in the descending order and then I'll also like to you know, as always you know like to discuss uh, I like to give you some good example the practical example so that it helps you in connecting in understanding the you know this uh, example more you know in a better way uh, before I do that uh, if you're watching this uh, my video for the first time uh, so welcome to the video number 172 this is going to be a 172 video and uh, you can go to my channel you can be a part of that channel you can subscribe to the channel to watch all those 171 amazing videos and on my channel here I have the list of all those you know the categories basically so you can click on any of the category if you're interested in the VLOOKUP just click on the VLOOKUP and it is going to take you to my you know all the videos which are uh, I have you know uploaded on the VLOOKUP just to make you awesome right so these are the great videos you can watch them and if you uh, also you can do one thing you can uh, go to my website which is xlbbalover.com and uh, in this tutorial section if you are looking for online training where I personally groom my students from the MIS perspective you can go and check all these training content and also for the Excel VBA training courses available let me know in case uh, if you want to join and otherwise the another section is a uh, you know the tutorial section the video tutorial section you can click on this video tutorial section also and you know it will take you to the uh, the links the hyperlinks where you can watch all these videos so click on any of the you know the, we have the I have categorically you know I have defined all these uh, things for you so let's say if you want to go for the VLOOKUP videos here the same videos which I was showing you on the YouTube channel you can also get this using my website so when you're gonna watch them when you click here just in, please ensure that it should be you know we are watching this on the YouTube it is going to help me a lot all right so that's it that's a little thing you know I always actually like to discuss in my all the videos so that you should be knowing uh, you know which channel you're watching and what all you can watch apart from this what you're going to watch right away all right so let's go ahead and let's quickly um, uh, you know see that what we are going to do today so the first thing which I'm going to do is um, I'm going to today talk about the two functions called the small and large very important functions uh, so how we are going to use them so small means that if you want to let's say let me uh, write some numbers here now let's say if you, if you want to get the second smallest number from here so when you write the small function array you give the table uh, you know the table select the table and k k means that is it the first smallest number second smallest number third smallest number so let's say it is going to be the second smallest number we want the second smallest number so you just write 2 and you get to see that 44 right now this is not a min function right because min always gives you uh, this I'm talking about this function you might have used this a lot this always gives the minimum value the lowest value but this uh, in this we can pass you know pass any value to this k parameter and we'll get uh, you know the value accordingly so if I write here four smallest number then obviously you know the answer has to be 66 so if you write here one then you will get the 33 on the same concept you have a large function also so when you la write the large you select the table and then comma and the you know what is going to be the largest number so let's say I'm going to I'm fine I'm trying to find out the second largest number second highest value so you write 2 here and there we go so now we will not get 66 but we'll get 55 right so these are the very small functions but they are very useful I must tell you uh, they look like very simple but they are very tricky also now for example let me give you this example right away now let's say in the sheet 2 let's just put some numbers here okay so I've written these numbers here random numbers let me zoom out the screen now we have these numbers written here now what we want to do is we want to actually telling you 
uh, in the ascending order we don't want to use this option that's very easy you can use it but how to do this in the formula right maybe in your dashboard you're getting these values every day and automatically what you want to do in the dashboard when you paste these values you know somewhere in some other sheet or maybe in this sheet you know you want that automatically the things should be sorted you don't want to tell your a person who is working on that you know sheet um, on the that da da dashboard that you know come to this option and click every time so first of all let's learn how to do this in the ascending order okay so in the ascending order what i'm going to do is i'm going to write here simply small and the, this table you can select the entire range as well in case if you have more numbers but that's fine we'll select this table and now we need the smallest number here so to get the smallest number obviously you know i have to write here one I press s enter and let me freeze the table because if you move it down then it will change a1 will change to a2 and that can create a problem right uh, so now once you have this value again in the next when you copy this formula you will write here that this time i need the second smallest number so you get 34 44 then you need the third smallest number and then you again copy this and paste it here and now you get it fourth smallest number and then again copy and paste it and you get here fifth smallest number right so you see the data is arranging it's rearranging itself in this sorting order but obviously that's a pain area for us you can't write one two three four five you know every time what if you have 500 values obviously i'm not so idle you know especially when you're working in office there is so, so much of pressure on us and we want to deliver the things fast management want us to do you know things in the quickest way right so this if you look at this one two three if you look at the formula here one two three basically what we are doing we're getting the smallest numbers so we can write here one four you know a five and then obviously i mean you can add one to it and you can just drag it if you have 500 values you can drag it to the 500 you know like this and it's, it's not going to take much of the time and the another way is you can also write the row function i have to, i have you know used this function many times in my videos so row number means that if i'm on this cell i will get two but i don't need the two i need the smallest number so i'll subtract minus one from it because i'm on the row number two and now you can drag it so that's the another way now you use this option or you use this option that's not the focus area <laughs> that's very simple right we can do it so i was just telling you actually but we will use this let's say we're going to use this so now instead of using uh, writing here one what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this as i2 okay now if i drag this down you see this is what i will get so i get all the values in the sorted order you can see here these values are sorted now right and you can see here what is happening in this table now i'm looking for the second smallest number okay if i just increase the width of this here we are looking for the second smallest number in this table here we are looking for the third smallest number in this table here we are looking for the fourth smallest number right and the, another way of doing it if you don't want to refer this i2 then obviously there is another way that what we can do we can write simply row minus one row minus one will give you one because right now you're on the g2 and the g2 if you apply the row function on the g2 that is going to give you the row number for the g2 which is obviously two but we won't we don't need the two we need actually one so that's another way of writing the thing i have dragged the formula and the formula works perfect you don't need this you can delete these values right let me delete this it's a formula where we have you know basically we have used two formulas in one single formula small and row row we have used to get the kth element so we got this ascending order now you see if i change this anything here your table will automatically changes you can see here right wonderful <laughs> it looks like that there is some vba program you have made i'm a big fan of vba programming you know you know me if you if you know my channel if you have watched you know all the videos then you would have heard me you know saying this that vba is is wonderful it's magic so but here we have not applied in vba you know it is getting sorted in automatically in ascending order so on the same concept you can also use this in the descending order for example 
let's do this in the descending order now if we want to do it in the descending order we want the highest value here so no problem we'll use a large function this time i'll select the table and now i need the la first largest number so i'm going to use the row minus one so i'll have seven seven three four three at the top just freeze the table a1 to a11 and then just drag it perfect now this will also look like a magic if you are going to do any changes here so i'm going to do the changes let's say we can see here the values are automatically changing so this is how you know you can set up your things you can get the values sorted out right now uh, this can be used i mean uh, in uh, any uh, maybe uh, for example uh, if i talk about uh, if i have to give you any example let's say um, you want to what you want to do is uh, you have here uh, let's say the companies the company let's say a then b and then c d e f and uh, let's say that you have the ranking so this is on the 100 this is on the 33 this is on the 44 this is on the 22nd this is going to be on the 3 this is going to be 77 so that's the ranking of the company let's say so what we want to do is we want to actually in our dashboard we want to see that you know how the companies are performing right so obviously what you can do is you can write here ranking let's say it's in the ascending order right you want to first find out who is at the top so small you write here and you give this table and then you write row minus one and then you drag this down right so you get to see here all right so um i forgot to freeze the table b2 to b7 as i was telling you that's very important there we go now once you have got the com uh, ranking obviously you would like to see the company also very important point right we want to get this dashboard populated in the ascending order now there are n number of ways of doing it you can use the index function here or maybe you can use the vlookup as well yes you can use the vlookup as well if you want to use the vlookup then what you need to do is you need to put this company in front of the ranking because vlookup always works in the left to right direction right so in th this case what we will do we will say vlookup 3 in this table and get us the second value there we go like this right so we have the company sorted out in this order and you obviously i mean you can format the things you can put some good grid lines here and you can you know um, put some colors uh, if you don't know what i'm talking about then you can go to my website and there uh, we have this wonderful dashboard making series on the excel uh, let me just show you you can watch uh, all those series one by one and there you will have the good amount of idea when you work on the dashboards you know how to actually make them presentable so it's art of making dashboards um it's somewhere here on my website yeah dashboard making so you can watch all these series one by one mm -hmm. series one series two series three right you can start it from anywhere but it would be good if you started from the series one because that talks about the basic level right same is available on my youtube channel also you can also watch now if i come here and you know i change this so let's just hide this we don't need this this is the cell referencing we're using so let's say tomorrow your this ranking changes you see that automatically the things will change and if let's say this company a is out uh, let's say d is out and there is a new company called dd with the ranking called 44 obviously you will have all the changes reflected here and similarly you can apply this for the you know if you want to have this uh, the you know the company who is at the last position last rank you want to show it on the top then you can use the large function also so this is a very good option you can do a lot of things using these um, you know um, large and small functions they are specially used in the dashboard where you want to sort out the things automatically so I hope that uh, this uh, video would further enhance your skills and you can utilize in your office work or on any of the project if you're working. And uh, so I'll come up with uh, some more exciting stuff very soon. Uh, with that said, I just want to take a leave now and uh, you please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and watch all those amazing videos which I was telling you. So I'll see you with some another exciting stuff very soon. Take care and stay fit. Bye-bye.